Let's explore what multiplication is. If we take 3 and add another 3 and another 3 and another 3 and another 3, we can see that what we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lots of 3, which we write like this 5 multiplied by 3. Now we can also take that picture of 5 multiplied by 3 and just view it in a different way. And in this case, we can see it as being 1, 2, 3 lots of 5. So we can say that 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 gives us 5 lots of 3. But that can also be just written as 3 lots of 5. And in all these cases, the answer is 15. If we look at this picture here, we've quite clearly got 6 lots of 3. If we then split that picture up, like this with a line, we can see that these 6 lots of 3 can also be viewed as 4 lots of 3 plus a further 2 lots of 3. So 6 lots of 3 is equal to 4 lots of 3 plus 2 lots of 3. Two multiplied by four multiplied by three can be thought of as follows. We've got two lots of four multiplied by three. Well, four multiplied by three looks like that. We've got four lots of three. Now we've got two of these four lots of three. So we've got this one and we've got another one. So two lots of four multiplied by three looks like this. And hopefully you can quite easily see that this is just going to be the same as saying you've got 8 lots of 3. So 2 lots of 4 multiplied by 3 is going to be the same as 8 lots of 3. Now how do these things help us and why do we look at them? Well, if we wanted to calculate something like 12 lots of 7, the first thing we looked at will tell us we can say that that is just 10 lots of 7 and another 2 lots of 7. And those two calculations are really easy. 10 lots of 7 is 70, 2 lots of 7 is 14. And so even if we didn't know what 12 lots of 7 is, we'd be able to calculate very easily that it's 84. Similarly, if we don't know how to, we don't know the answer to 8 times 6 immediately, what we just did will tell us that it's 2 lots of 4 times 6. And hopefully we know that 4 times 6 is 24, and so then we know that 8 times 6 is just double that, which is 48.